Evolving from its earlier versions, Phenom 100 and 100E, the 100EV has given a very tough competition to its class. Meet the new Embraer Phenom 100EV, a very light jet developed by Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer. Welcome to Kings of Luxury. How good is the new 100EV? Let's take a look inside this jet and admire its fresh features. Make sure to watch till the end. The Phenom 100EV is a faster, upgraded version version of the earlier Phenom 100 and 100E. It's Embraer's entry-level airplane with multi-function spoilers that serve as speed brakes and assist in ground braking with FADEC engine controls and brake-by-wire systems. Although being the smallest of the Embraer business jets, this plane sure does have a big iron presence and capabilities. It has a strong ramp presence, plus flight envelope protection, a large air stair door, single point fueling, externally serviced flushing lavatory, and Embraer's signature ram's horn control yokes. It also features modified engines at a new avionics suite offering better performance. The Phenom 100 EV aircraft was first unveiled during the EAA Air Venture fly-in and convention held in July 2016. Emirates Flight Training Academy purchased five Phenom 100E aircraft during the 2015 Dubai Air Show. Later, the order was shifted to a Phenom 100 EV business jet in July 2016, and the first aircraft was delivered in November 2017. At the same time, the first private order was released in May 2017 to an undisclosed American customer. The 100 EV brings several developments over its immediate predecessors, the Phenom's 100 and 100 E. One is a tweak of the Pratt & Whitney PW617F-E engines that raised thrust to 1,700 130 pounds per side, in total 70 additional pounds over the previous model's 1,695 pound per side ratings. Maximum takeoff weight was increased by 121 pounds to 10,703 pounds. Nominal maximum payloads were raised by 44 pounds, and so was the full fuel payload. Weight savings and thrust raised from 1,695 pounds to 1,730 pounds, shortening climbing time to 41,000 feet from 33 minutes to 25 minutes, and decreasing takeoff distance at high altitude and high temperature airports from 6,609 feet to 5,663 feet. This hike in thrust, which is a total of 15 percent according to Embraer, and load translates into benefits in hot and high operations. Since earlier Phenom 100s were sometimes weight limited for high density altitude takeoffs, pilots had to decide whether to restrict fuel or passenger loads. However, these trade-offs aren't a problem with the EV's extra thrust. Plus, there's the faster maximum cruise speed, 406 knots for the EV against 389 knots for the 100 and 100E. So with more thrust and load, it brings more benefits in low density and higher altitude operation. Phenom's new Prodigy Touch avionics suite is another attention-grabbing feature. This Garmin G3000-based installation comes with brighter, higher-resolution 14-inch diagonal display screens. Each can be split into two view setups, allowing a total of six different screen views. Also included are dual touchscreen controllers that operate with the panel mount displays and provide their own functionalities, which are tuning Navcom radios, calling up V-speeds, or running checklists. With the EV, you get an improved brake control unit and the ninth software iteration of the brake-by-wire system. Earlier brake systems were known to be grabby as they were designed for a single purpose, maximum braking. So it was either no braking or, once pedal travel reached a critical point, too much braking. This resulted in pilots attempting to soften this hard deceleration by pumping the brakes. This only worsened the problem, as the system would reset for maximum braking each time the pilot released brake pressure. Alternatively, this could cause longer landing distances, which have been implicated in several overrun accidents. While the system has been refined over the years, newer software lets pilots modulate brake pressures and give passengers smoother, less dramatic post-landing experiences. The 100E and 100EV's multifunction spoilers also have helped the airplane slow down more elegantly, both in the air and on the ground. Above 180 Kias, the spoilers are used both to support, slow down, and go down, while after landing, it waits on wheels to automatically deploy for the best braking 
and traction on wet or contaminated runways. It requires a takeoff distance of 3,190 feet and a landing distance of 2,430 feet while it can fly at altitudes of up to 41,000 feet. Phenom 100 EV design and features. The jet is a low-wing monoplane with a T-tail assembly designed to deliver high performance and comfort. The aircraft endures an economic life of 35,000 hours. It has a wingspan of 42 feet 1 inch, a height of 14 feet 3 inches, and a wingspan of 40 feet 4 inches. 100 EV has a total baggage space of up to 70 cubic feet and features a fully enclosed aft lavatory. It can be fitted with an optional rigid door for more privacy. Phenom 100 EV Cockpit While the cockpit features a Prodigy Touch Avionics suite based on the Garmin G3000, the suite has centralized touchscreens and includes vertical navigation, GWX70 with ground touch suppression, and turbulence detection. The flight deck boasts three 12.4-inch interchangeable displays with soft keys, reducing navigation time on menus. The smart system automation plus flight management system with graphical flight planning capabilities further lessen the pilot's checklist. The flight deck is also fitted with an integrated electronic standby instrument, engine indication and crew alerting system, synthetic vision system, charts and maps, coupled vertical navigation, and required navigation performance. It also includes a wide area augmentation system and localizer performance with vertical guidance, central maintenance computer, and data link via SATCOM for quick fault location and isolation. Phenom 100 EV Cabin Details the aircraft features a spacious cabin equipped with the latest technologies and new seating configurations. It can accommodate six occupants in the standard configuration and carry up to eight passengers when installed with additional seating. Made by Embraer and BMW Design Works, the oval light cabin presents more head and leg space along with enhanced ergonomics and comfort for passengers. Customers can pick a range of cabin finish options in 11 color palettes such as Amber, Bronzite, Crystal, Mystic, Emerald, Pearl, Ruby, Sapphire, Smoky Quartz, Sunstone, and Tiffany. The cabin temperature is managed by the environmental control system, while the optional VIP panel allows passengers to change the temperature in the cabin. The entertainment consists of a CD, DVD with an XM radio receiver and auxiliary inputs. Phenom 100 EV Engine and Performance The aircraft is powered by two modified Pratt & Whitney Canada PW617F1-E engines that generate a maximum thrust of 1,730 pounds each. The engine is boosted with a dual-channel, full-authority digital engine control system. The jet has a maximum usable fuel capacity of 2,804 pounds. With a maximum cruise speed of 750 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 2,100 82 kilometers, it's a journey beyond limits. Plus, it requires a takeoff distance of 3,190 feet and a landing distance of 2,430 feet, while it can fly at altitudes of up to 41,000 feet. Ultimately, the aircraft complies with the ICAO Stage 4 noise standards and emits 10% less carbon dioxide compared to other aircraft in its class. So what do you think? Can it challenge other aircraft of its class? Is it a significant shift from the previous models? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.